uh, basics of addition subtraction. All right. Now there are several uh, segments of um, in this video. There are several segments in this video. I've prepared some questions. Now we'll go through the first segment where we recap on uh, how to add and subtract. All right. So one of the ways that we are usually use or we usually use is what we call the column method. So we get the number and we list them in columns. So for example, like this, and we simply add them from digits, tens, hundreds, and thousands, and so on and so forth. All right. So we have four plus six, which would be ten. Okay. So typically, when you have a a, a number which is double digits, the bot the number on the right will go down, and since it's ten, one comes up here. Okay. To add here. So three five plus one, so we have three five eight plus one. You get nine. All right, one's gone. Then we have two plus four, which will be six, and one plus zero, which will be one. All right, and the answer will be one six nine zero. All right, there are several methods. There are partitioning methods and so on and so forth. But typically, this is um, one of the easier ones or one of the quicker ones with less working to do. All right. Now similarly we have one three four minus four five six so we could do the same thing one three four minus four five six for example okay now typically if you see this and you have a small number minus a big number we will have to borrow some uh, numbers from the number to the left so we reduce this to two and we give one to the f four which will become a ten sorry we give the ten to the four which becomes fourteen so ten. Uh, 14 minus 6 would give us 8 and now here is 2 minus 5 which is small number so we have to borrow again and we give 10 to the number here so it becomes 12 10 plus 2 is 12 now 12 minus 5 is possible so 12 um, we have 7 right 1 minus 4 is not possible so we have to borrow this this becomes 0 10 plus 1 become 11 right so 10 um, you will get how much would you get here? Seven. All right. So this would be the answer for this problem. All right. Then you would have problems like this where there are multiples. All right. It's exactly the same. So I'm going to get some space and do it here. All right. It's exactly the same, except you could do it either in two um, two portions or two different problems, or you can do it in one go. So for example, if I'm doing it in one go, I can just write it. Let me get a different color. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 7, 6, 4. Okay. So 4 minus 4, we have 0. We need to borrow for this. Sorry, 1. This becomes 13. So 10 minus 6 for 7. Okay. Get 7. Um, 1 minus 7 is not possible. So again, we have to borrow. It becomes 0, 11. And this will be 4. All right, now immediately after this, you can do the next one, which is plus 34, all right? All in one go. So zero plus four is possible. So it's four, seven plus three is 10. So zero comes here, one goes up. Four plus zero plus one, you will get five. All right, so the answer here for this question is five, zero, four. All right, now, I'm going to go into decimals. So I'm pretty sure you've um, seen decimal numbers. So now let's write for A. I'm going to use a different color again. A. Now when you see decimals, usually you have to arrange them by where the point is. Okay. So you have a point here. So I'm going to write here 4.610.8. 0 .8. And then you add them together, for example. Okay. So this is 0 0.80 technically. Right. If you can add them directly, there's one way of doing that, or simply remove the decimal point. So we have two places, right? You can add them, which will give you four six one plus um sorry, four six one plus eighty. Alright, so it's easier for you to see maybe if it's too confusing, you can see it this way. Add it, it becomes one, six plus eight is fourteen. And 541. Alright, so now the answer is 541, but you have to bring it back in decimals. So you have to put back the two decimal places as before. So from the right to the left, 1, 2. So your answer here is 4. Point, uh, sorry, 5.41. Alright. Now similar to that, we have B. So let's do B as well. We have 0 0.45 plus 1.6. 
Now let's make this into uh, a normal number. So we reduce this two decimals. We have two decimals as well. So this will be 45 plus 160. Because you see two decimals, so we have to add a zero here. Okay, so let's do this quickly. So 160 plus 45. We have 5, 6 plus 4, 10. So 205 is the answer. And then we add back the decimals from the right to the left. 1, 2. And you will have your final answer as 2.05. Okay, so this is uh, whenever you see decimal numbers. If you find it confusing, you can remove the decimal by uh, making them the same equal amount. So for example, you have two decimal points here. You take two decimal points away from the other number as well. Okay, now in this segment here, I'm going to explain to you um, how quick you can do maths or mental maths. Right now, right, so we have a number 3456 minus 1997. All right, so we can do this um, mentally by making it into a, into a simpler number. Okay, how we do that is we have 1997. We can make this into a 2000 by adding 3 into it. So we can two, uh, 3456 minus 2000. Okay, now bear in mind this operation is a subtraction. So now we are subtracting a larger number. So later what we have to do is we have to add back the tree that we have uh, taken out. All right, we are subtracting a larger number. So if you subtract with 1997, the answer should be a smaller number. So let's do the subtraction first. We will get 2456. Sorry, 1456. My mistake. All right, we get 1456. Okay. Now this tree that we we added to make this 2000, we have subtracted a bigger number, so we have to add this back into it. So your final answer will be 1459. Alright, so this is the answer to the first question here, the, up, uh, the question at the top. 3456 minus 1997, this is the answer to it. Okay, now bear in mind, it's because it's subtraction, you have to add back the tree that you've added. Now in the second one, all right, there's a tiny mistake here. This should be minus, all right. For B, we could do exactly the same. So we have four two seven plus one nine nine. Now this one nine nine we could make it into a two hundred by adding a one, correct? So your answer here would be four two seven plus two hundred, which gives you six two seven. However, since we added into an extra number, we added plus one. So the number is larger, so it shouldn't be because this number is a smaller number. By 1, we have to subtract away the 1. Okay, so your final answer will be 6 to 6. Okay, so this is the answer for the original. Okay, so this is something you may have to practice, alright, to uh, be familiar, to quickly do the math in your head. So 3456 minus 1997, I could make the 1997 to 2000 do the uh, subtraction, you quickly get the answer and then add back the number 3. Now the same thing will go for the bottom one, alright? This is just a strategy that has been uh, I'm teaching to you to help you with your mental maths.